What's going on everybody? Welcome back for a brand new video. Thank you guys for tuning in. My voice is a little deep and it sounds kind of weird because I'm a bit sick and it is really early today as I'm filming this so forgive me for that guys. But we do have another install video slash performance video. I know a lot of the mods that I do on this car is pretty much a visual mod but today we do have a performance mod that was shipped out by my boy Frank and if you guys have owned a 3.7 before or you still own one right now you know there is quite a bit of a lag so whenever you're trying to floor it there is a slight lag and then the car takes off it whips you back which it might feel a little cool to you but you do have that small lag so the fix for that guys is going to be one of these pedal commanders this throttle controller this one is by roar pedal i know they have about two three four different brands out there but my boy frank he went ahead and shipped this out for me he said he had two so he's like hey man take this one you have a 3.7 i'm sure you're gonna use it and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i've had this for about three months and i have not even remotely gotten close to installing it but today we're gonna go ahead and do this baby right here. I did take the initiative and try to fix that little performance issue with the throttle when I installed the colder intake. Should have given it a bit of improvement and it was slightly, barely noticeable. Then I went ahead and installed a upgraded throttle body. Did make it better and then I, I actually paired it up with a tune which drastically made it better but we still have that lag guys. So what this is supposed to do, it's supposed to give you an instant uh, just acceleration, right? So it is a really simple mod. What you guys do, is under the acceleration pedal down there you're gonna have this baby right here Let's see if you guys can check it out um where is it at it's gonna be right so i can zoom in for you guys right there right that's the one you're gonna have to remove and then you're gonna have to put the new one on and it's that simple inside the box guys right away pretty good package you buy them you do have your pedal commander and then just the wires that are needed no drilling nothing else guys it is a simple plug and play this side is going to be connected to this side USB-C and then these are connected to that throttle pedal right there I think I got my voice back a little bit so just to get out of the way we do have this little 3M pad right here that people usually put on the steering wheel so you go ahead and put it here not on the steering wheel i'm sorry but next to it that way you have like easy access to going ahead and change uh your your throttle responses right here because you'll have different ones like sport eco etc and we'll go over it right now these little easy things are the ones that usually get more annoying towards the end so just like that uh, center it just like that right so you have one side on, it's double-sided, so then the next one you'd put it next to the steering wheel column. I'm trying my best because this is a really tight spot to get into. It is this baby right here. And there should be a clip. There you go. So, just go ahead and press this one down on this side. And then just pop it up. Alright guys, so you're actually going to have two sides two wires one's gonna go to the old wire that, that was already hanging and plugged in and then the second one's gonna go to where it was actually plugged in just like that make sure you hear the pop and that's it perfect we're officially finished so essentially guys what i did i just hid the wire behind this little panel back here and then it's like four dozen in purpose they give you like this little dent right here and this is where exactly where i am going to place it and then here you're able to see what are the modes you want to put it through. I mean, I could put it a little higher, maybe like up here, but honestly, like I don't, I want to try to keep it clean. So I would probably just leave it down here. And if I need to, so uh, I can mess with the settings and it's going to be a little bit more hidden. I don't have to see the wire and stuff like that. All you do now, remove the 3M tape and install. Now for the best part of the video is we're, we're gonna go out and we're gonna go ahead and test it out so right before we get started guys here are the clear instructions on what everything is called if you're trying to be uh, picky about it sensor cable accelerator pedal plug accelerator pedal sensor and accelerator pedal right so let's get it gets broken down for you one of the main main uh, issues you might run into is if you do this right after turning off your car right so if you were driving you get home you want to do this install you got to wait 10 to 15 minutes it tells you right there because if not you're going to get a check engine light right so my car's been off overnight so it doesn't really matter but make sure you follow that key step guys wait 10 to 15 minutes after you turn off your car and then you can go ahead and just follow the instructions that i went and did for you guys <laughs> a 
few different modes for this guys and we're gonna start off slow all right we're gonna start off slow because I don't want to just jump into like sport or track mode or whatever it's called so you'll have right here race mode sport plus mode sport mode eco mode and normal mode all right so race mode being the harshest one and then obviously you have normal which is is regular and you have eco mode which is actually supposed to save you gas so sport mode and sport mode plus are the actual ones people use to daily drive so you have all these options right here and it tells you what each one of those does we know what we'll start off in normal and then we'll move it up to eco mode all right so right now i'm a little scared because i really don't want to go sideways but right now just normal mode i'm gonna go ahead and try it out so i shouldn't expect any difference at all all right so feels normal nothing crazy so all right i mean i don't want to do a hard pull because there isn't really a place like I'm in the neighborhood, right? But let's see if just right off the bat we can see something. So this is gonna be eco mode. So we are now currently in eco mode. Mm. Can't really tell something there. Let's try the next one, which would be sport mode. All right, so we're currently right now in sport mode. Okay, shoot. I do not want to use uh, race mode. As soon as I'm pressing down on the pedal, it's going, guys. It's moving. Shoot. Okay. I'm going to go to sport mode plus now. All right. Sport mode plus, and now I'm, I'm actually a little freaked out. I'm going to do a little hard pull for you guys, all right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Big difference, guys. Major difference. Big, big difference. There is no lag. I went ahead and put the pedal to the metal and it took off. Look at that. Shoot, okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad, all right. Now, this is sport mode. Uh, I don't think sport mode plus, I'm sorry. We see FU1. Look at that. We're in FU1, you guys can see that right there. If you want mode would be sport mode plus so the next one would be race mode so we go to menu and that's gonna be sport mode plus and then you have actually different levels from like 0 to 10 on how harsh you want sport mode so we're gonna go ahead and just do a little pull right there ready yeah big difference so this mode is going to be if you're going to be out there racing all right so if you're going to actually going to go out there on a saturday night on a cruise night and you want to go race well then this is your best bet right you're going to be messing with sport mode plus obviously this will affect your mpgs um, but if you're just out to the race or you can be driving eco all day and then hey somebody pulls up to you go ahead and switch to the sport mode plus and you're good to go wide open throttle right here yeah I Car start, the car started tailing a little bit, so I just let off the gas. I don't have the best tires. I'm actually just just on like some economical tires, so it's not gonna hook the best to say, but we're gonna go ahead and take it to the street real quick. We're in sport mode plus, remember that guys? I don't like that, it feels like cars shutting off because it's so sensitive, all right? The accelerator pedal is so sensitive. can hear that if you can see the rpm skyrocket but it actually works i'm not gonna lie to you guys it changes the experience of driving the car all right so what i mean i don't like necessarily in sport mode is that it's super sensitive as soon as i you hear that watch off on so it like on a turn and i'm trying to go slow because i am lowered so i am sensitive right the car's a little bouncy so i'm like 
doing this in the pedal so it sounds like the car's turning off. I'm not going wide open throttle too much because last time I got a tune and I went out loud, I got pulled over by an actual state trooper and I don't want to go sideways either and just total this thing just for the video. Like I said, I don't have a good set of tires. Go ahead. Okay, right here I have an open road. All right, open road. So... question is now am I gonna be using sport mode plus to daily drive no I'm not I, no I'm not even in the book that it says the one you usually get uh, they recommend for your daily drive is pretty much sport mode right now we are in race mode which is the harshest one and that's because I'm on setting 3 out of 10 if I were to do setting 10 guys let's just try it screw it right so four five six seven eight nine oh nine sorry it goes all the way from one to nine all right man you feel it so obviously my car is gonna react a little different because I semi have full bolt-on with the throttle body with the intake with the long tubes with the tune but you guys know me if I like something whether it's cheap whether it's on a budget I'm gonna tell you guys is it worth it or not and this is worth it for you 3.7 owners this is worth it game changer uh, and this works for any car any car to wake up any car but you're watching this because you're a Mustang owner. So yes, thumbs up from me. I recommend it. Go ahead and check it out. So we're back home and the drive was a pretty fun drive. It was well worth it. So what we do have here once again is the throttle accelerator, whatever you want to call it, Commander by Roar Pedal. You can go ahead and do any other brand. They all do the same thing, honestly. They're about $120, but go ahead and invest in it, all right? It works really well. I liked it. I'm going to be using it probably, like I said, in sport mode, maybe eco mode. I'm not going to be driving like crazy this is my daily driver for work so and I live I, about three minutes away from my job site so I'm not gonna be driving race mode to to my job will this break anything it shouldn't unless you're driving in a race mode 24 7 and flooring at every red light will this void your warranty it definitely will not void your warranty guys so you don't have to worry about it you're gonna take your car in for service just unplug the little wires put the normal one back and that's it and then once you leave you pick up your car just set it back up right so it won't say anything on the computer but if you're just gonna be a little precautious about it yeah you can do that just remove everything and then just reinstall it right it takes about two minutes to do it maybe a little bit less but this is probably one of the last performance mods before we even get into a turbo discussion or something like that I need to do the gears I haven't done the gears I've thought about doing long tubes but I just like how the car sounds with the short tube so I haven't really thought about going into long tubes although the gains would probably be maybe 10 horsepower the car would get louder but I don't want it to sound too raspy as it is we get a lot of crap for being a V6 and then doing exhaust mods to it but it is what it is anyways guys I hope you guys did enjoy the video hope you guys found it informative if you did enjoy the content make sure to subscribe if you haven't drop a like guys drop a comment as well say what's up and we'll catch you guys on the next one God bless